뉴질랜드에서의 정부나 시에서 진행하는 정책에 대해 시민들과의 의견 나누기는 어떻게 할까요? 지난 3월 13일 하익 로컬 보드룸에서는 램브라운 오클랜드 시장과의 퍼블릭 미팅이 있었습니다. 이날 행사에서는 오클랜드의 장기 계획에 대해 패널들이 준비한 질문을 하고 램브라운 시장은 그의 답을 하는 시간을 가졌습니다. One of the reasons why some of you here actually voted for me was because you believed that I was going to stick to my election promise and that is no rate increase is above beyond the rate of inflation. In all reality, hang on. The United Budget for Auckland where rate increases are greater than 9%. We asked for savings, we drove it down first of all to 4.9%, got a lot of feedback from yourselves and others around the place, drove it down to 3.7%, ended up at 3.9% with the inflation rate sitting at 4.6%. And how do you tell the 41% of the population of the Howick Ward, whose income was less than 20,000 per annum at the last census, Say, and I, I really appreciate your great ideas and your great um, vision and your aspirations. To ensure that we deal with the real challenges in this community around getting around Auckland and getting out of Auckland, but we're also doing a ferry building upgrade. The types of work that we promised to do for the ferry terminal for many, many years, we're doing that now. So these sort of excellent. So these sort of things that you've been asking for, we're finally delivering the issue of affordability. Right, um, well. Take this one here and then we'll have uh, the lady in the blue at, down at the front. Your work, daughters, sons, grandchildren, great-grandchildren are sitting here and asking whoever the mayor is in that time, why didn't you and your council act 20 years ago? And so for me, I understand. I, I'm asked, as the first mayor for all of Auckland, through the statute of the Auckland Council, to provide a vision for Auckland. And at the heart of that vision is getting that city going because I'm looking out there in the future, understanding where we're at the moment, but looking out there and knowing what's coming at us and knowing we've got to invest now. And I tell you, that makes me relentless and really determined that we've got to do it. And we've been meeting with the Auckland Council since 24th of June last year about talking about the rates rebate scheme. Congestion charging, which is like the London system, see for the charge around the inner area, visitors taxes, developmental levy, tax increment funding, I'm not going to try to explain it to you because it's going to take half an hour, network charging, which is a charge on the whole system and maybe also on public transport so that you pay to enter the transport system to actually raise revenue that we're talking about, car parking charges and import departure tax. Now there's 10 options. What's the point of having a debt liability policy if the bar keeps getting raised? So I want to acknowledge yourselves, Sharon and Vicky are here tonight, Chris is over the back there, George over there, I want you to put your hands together for your local representatives and your council for the <웃음> 다소 예민한 발언들도 나온 이 행사를 통해 뉴질랜드에서의 정책에 대한 의견 나누는 모습을 엿볼 수 있습니다.